Hi guys, um, I am back after a while. Um, yes, I have done one eye for you guys today just to save some time because I am going to do a talk to video. Um, so what happened between the time that I was away, um, I had this tie or like a little infection. As you can see, it's like there's like a lump on my eye and it's been there for about a week I want to say and um, it was really painful and I had to go to the doctor and get some eye drops uh, which I have to put um, and I'm still using that and it's it's like about 80% healed but there's still I can feel there's some and it's not painful anymore which is good and whenever you usually have something like some kind of infection in your eye you want to stay away from makeup so this whole week I haven't worn any makeup at all just um, moisturizer and um, yeah that's about it so today I have a new video for you guys I did this look um, using some green and gold and it's really pretty and summery um, yeah so I hope you guys like it and we'll recreate that on this side together so as usual you're gonna apply your base and I'm using the NYX base in um, skin tone apply that all over the eyelid We will apply some on the lower lid a little bit later on. Today I am using um, my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and the uh, Shani 7 Layers uh, Masterpiece. And I'm using this green layer and this kind of like fall color layer. I'm only using one color from that. I'll, I will show you as we go. Um, I haven't done my brows and um, I don't know if I want to do it today but uh, yeah so first of all once you have your base on what you're going to do is just a um, take a fluffy brush like this one I use that all the time and then I'm gonna go with my um, makeup geek eyeshadow in frappe as my transition color and um, Peach Smoothie, I think it is. Peach Smoothie as my um, highlight. So I'm taking Frappe and just applying that in the crease. Remember to blend this really well because this is the transition color. You want it to be really smooth. Like on this side, how you see it's blended. other color the peach smoothie and just pretty much use that as your highlight these two colors are basically going to be in most of the videos because it's gonna be my highlight color and the transition color so yeah when you're done with that put that aside and take a brush like this guy and I'm mainly gonna use this color in the outer corner and this color in the inner corner I will be using this one in the outer corner just a little bit and then also this brown color okay I'm gonna take that dark shimmery green and sort of put that on the outer part of the lid now these colors are so amazingly pigmented as you can see it's just gorgeous but you're gonna lose some of that pigmentation because we're gonna apply more colors and blend it in because I don't want it to be this harsh especially if you're gonna wear it on a regular day in summer for like a fun beach party or something like that you know you don't want it to be too much and then I'm gonna take that light color on the other side of the brush Tap off the excess as usual and put that in the inner corner. You want to keep the middle sort of blank but 
if it gets covered with eyeshadow that's fine we can always put the gold on the top so it's not even a big deal okay so then what you want to do is just take your fluffy blending brush and go ahead and blend this And then you're going to take a pointy brush like this and that dark green color, the matte one. And sort of like deepen over here. This is not going to do much, but I still want that kind of deep sort of um, look. So just in the outer part, you're going to deepen it. Always remember to tap off the extra because these colors are so pigmented and bright. You don't want to uh, put it all over your face. Especially if you're wearing foundation first, which I'm not. Bare face. Okay, when you're done with that, you're going to take a brush like this. This is sort of like a flat fluffy brush this is I think um, equivalent to 217 by MAC um, but this one is by Costa Sense. I'm gonna take that brown color very lightly tap off the excess and you're gonna just put it like right there like right there don't go any further than that you just want to keep it like on this outer portion You're going to take your fluffy brush again and just go ahead and blend with nothing on it. Like no eyeshadow on it. Just keep blending it until you achieve like a diffuse sort of effect. Like that. And then you're going to take a flat synthetic brush and go in with this gold color. There are many, many gold colors in this palette, but I'm going to use this one. You could also go with this one. I would stick with a sort of a warm um, golden color. And I'm going to back my brush, tap off the excess, and I'm going to just pull my eye a little bit like that. And I'm going to just brush it on like that in tiny strokes. Like that. just in that middle part so we have like sort of a pop and then you're definitely gonna go back and touch up your um, inner green color and the outer green color to bring back some of that intensity because we don't want it to be all gold we want it to be a little bit green as well and then for the lower lash line you're going to go ahead and apply your base. You're going to take your... Actually, you're going to take a smaller, tiny brush like that. And take the gold color first. And apply that all over. And then take the light green, apply it in the inner portion, and then take the dark green, the shimmery one, and apply it in the very outer part. Just right there. And then you're going to take a black eyeliner and line your waterline. Take a liquid liner with a really tiny tip and apply a like a really really thin line. Just to thicken your lashes. 
a little bit if you want you can just go ahead and put a wing liner on or you know something dramatic but I'm not going to and then I'm gonna take an angle brush and the same black eyeliner which is a waterproof and I'm just gonna smudge that liner out just to make it a little bit soft and blend it because I don't want a harsh line like that and then you're basically going to apply your mascara on the top and the bottom I'm using the Mega Volume Collagen 24 Hours by Maybelline or no L'Oreal and then I'm going to use the CoverGirl Clump Crusher on the top of that and I'll be right back Okay, so I did um, put my foundation on and my concealer. Um, I used my um, Fit Me concealer and uh, some other concealer from the uh, Shani palette. And then I used my foundation, which is the new Pure Minerals. Um, four in one, I love that. And my shade is in Golden Dark. Um, I mean, for a mineral foundation, this has amazing coverage. As you guys can see, it covers pretty much like 80% of my acne scarring so I love it it's mineral it's good for your skin so that's why I use it um, and then I did a bit of contouring with the huge um, uh, uh, blush and contouring kit and I use the contouring side um, this one is in Turks Caicos and then I'm gonna use a Maybelline blush this is a mineral blush in the color fresh plum i don't know if you guys can see but that's the color so i'm just gonna dump some on the lid and swirl it tap of the extra and apply right there it's a very pretty color it complements the um green a lot so the lips obviously you can go with a hot pink because it'll suit just really well but obviously it's gonna be dramatic because eyes are dramatic lips are dramatic it's gonna be crazy so I'm just gonna do sugar plum by Maybelline not Maybelline Revlon um, lip butters it's a still a pink color very nice neutral so Voila, that's it. And um, so that completes the whole look. And um, I hope you guys like this. And if you guys have any suggestions on what looks should I do for my next videos, I know the bridal looks are coming along. I'm still waiting for some music from my brother. Um, I have told him and he's really busy with his uni work and stuff. So, um, that's going to take a while and, um, yeah, I'm still, um, getting some ideas and stuff and collecting all that. And when I'm free, I will do the bridal series soon. Seems like everyone's on, like, this is a bridal series. I don't know why, but, um, usually in Sri Lanka, the bridal season is in May. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I also had to do a hair care um, video, which I might do after this one. So, yeah, stay tuned for all those. And um, I'm sorry for being away for so long. And, uh, yeah, really sorry. And uh, I will keep the videos coming. Um, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.